Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, <laughs> have you ever noticed that politicians like Tech City Commissioner um, Felix Herrera, now, not him specifically, I don't really know him, but I'm going to use him as an example. Tech City Commissioner Felix uh, Herrera, right? Have you ever noticed that politicians? When they're trying to get elected, right? When they're trying to get elected, they um, they 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 go to functions, they go out to churches, they um, are visible in, in on social media. They're they're visible in in our neighborhoods. They 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 make um, advertisements on TV. They 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 pay rappers to talk to us about voting and the importance of voting. And what they always try to do is tell you that as a citizen, you should become interested in the political process, right? They, they tell you that you should invest your time, energy, and resources into the political process. They tell you that you should research your can the candidates that are running for office. Listen to their campaign promises. Hold them to their campaign promises, right? They they tell you to vote for them, and then they tell you the things that they'll that they'll do for you. Around voting time, to a politician, the citizen is the most important person in the world. They'll they'll hold babies that they don't even know, kiss babies that they don't even know. Tell mothers and fathers that their children are beautiful, right? They'll talk about the problems in society. But not only will they talk about problems in the society caused by citizens, they'll also talk about problems in the society based on other politicians. If, if, if you ever, have you ever heard somebody say um, um, mud slinging or throwing mud? Right, throwing mud, mud slinging. Well, that's a term that we use to talk about how politicians will try to dirty the name of other politicians in order to make themselves seem like a more viable candidate. Right? They'll talk about how their opponents, their political opponents have not done the things that they were supposed to do and they turn around and promise that they will not be like that candidate. But then you have some politicians like Tech City Commissioner Felix Herrera <laughs> that after they get in office, right? After they hound you at church, hound you at your job, hound you on social media, Hound you on TV, hound you with celebrities, hound you at, at functions, hound you in the community, after they hound you and hound you and hound you and hound you and hound you to get your vote and make you feel like you're less than an American citizen if you do not vote. After you vote for them, they get in the office and they do things like, I'm a citizen, I vote personally, I vote in every election. OK, I emailed City Commissioner Felix Herrera and he never responded. He 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 never responded. But politicians will tell you that, oh, you need to be involved in the political process. But he never responded. They'll tell you that you should vote for them because they will be able to do things to improve your life. But he never responded. They'll ask you to vote for them and expect you to go out of your way to go up to the polling place, cast that ballot to get them in office. And then city commissioners like Felix Herrera won't even respond to the emails. And they almost as if like I'm annoying him or something or, or you understand what I'm saying? Like, oh, he got an email from me, and it's it's an inconvenience. It's an inconvenience that City Commissioner Felix Herrera got an email from Matthew Daniels, regular 
Joe Blow taxpaying citizen, but y'all told me, oh, if I vote, I'll have a voice. If I involve myself in the political process, I can make a difference. You make all these campaign promises. You know, you you hound us for this vote. You and, and you wonder why people don't even like to vote. That's the problem. You wonder why people don't even like to vote because after they vote, they find out that when they email city commissioners like Felix Herrera and ask them a question, you don't even get no response. But I, I bet you if he was running for office and I emailed him and I asked him, how could I support his campaign? I bet you Felix Herrera would have got back at me. I bet you if Felix Herrera was running for office and he was campaigning to get the position, not that he already had the position, that he was running to get the position. I bet you if I contacted him and emailed him and told him that I had $2,000 that I wanted to donate to his campaign, I bet you he would have responded. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet? I bet you if when City Commissioner Felix Herrera was campaigning for office before he actually got the position, I bet you if I would have emailed him and asked him if he could give me some extra voter registration cards because I got some people that I need to register for vote and those people that I'm registering to vote are saying that they will vote for him, I bet he would have responded to my email. But since he's already in there, <laughs> since he's already in there, you, you got the vote. I guess there's nothing else that I can do for you. So... I emailed City Commissioner Felix Herrera and he didn't respond to my email. And 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 you, you guys wonder why people don't care about politics. You wonder why you wonder why they don't care about what's going on in the city. You wonder why. You wonder why they just don't care. You wonder why they don't vote. You wonder why they're not registered to vote. You wonder why they don't come to, to uh meetings, um, city commissioner meetings. You wonder why they don't contact you. You wonder why they don't tell you when the roads are messed up. You wonder why they don't tell you when the lights are busted, on, the street lights are broken. You wonder why they don't tell you when it's a uh, crime in the neighborhood. You wonder why they don't tell you. You wonder why they don't tell you. You wonder why they don't tell you. They don't tell you because you just don't care. Because you just don't care. You see, you just don't care. All right. So how about we just stop playing these games, man? If you don't care, don't lie and say you care. Because when we reach out to you, people like City Commissioner Felix Herrera, they don't even respond. Brother, you don't care. That's fair. Shame on you, man. Shame on you. Shame on you. That's disrespectful. You disrespected me. Felix Herrera, City Commissioner, you disrespected me, man. You did. You. I'm not talking to all the city commissioners. Let me make that clear. I'm not talking to all the city commissioners in this. I'm talking to city commissioner Felix Herrera. I'm talking to city commissioner Felix Herrera. You let me down, man. Now, you may not care if you let down taxpaying, voting citizens. You may not care if you let down politically inclined, taxpaying Texas city citizens. You may not care. You may not care, but I want you to remember something. The same way y'all push and promote that every vote count, and if you don't vote, you don't have a voice, I'm going to need you to start promoting that after you get elected, after the vote, every citizen count, and every citizen got a voice, especially the citizens that vote to get you in there, brother. That's, man... Shame on this guy, man. Shame, shame. Y'all, y'all see Game of Thrones when Xerxes was walking through naked, walking through the streets naked, and they were shame, 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 shame. Because this man didn't respond to my email, he should be walking through the streets of Texas City yelling shame, 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 shame. And I know you, I know, I know you don't care about one person. I know you don't. I know you don't. I know you don't. And the citizens know you don't. But I'm going to do everything in my power to make you care. And I might, I might not be successful. I might not be successful, but I might be successful. But I'm going to do everything in my power, City Commissioner Felix Herrera. I'm going to do everything in my power to make you care. Because if one citizen can get 100 citizens to listen to him, 
then that one citizen is not as powerless as you may think. You know, uh, if, if you want our voice, you sh you 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 should respond to our emails, man. That that's just that's just common courtesy, City Commissioner Felix Herrera.